Remember the common techniques that are used by the algorithms to implement operations. Iteration, partitioning, and indexing. Index nested loop join uses the indexing technique. It uses the assumption that there is an index on the inner relation. How does that help? And why the inner relation? It helps in that for each tuple that we have in the outer relation, the index for the inner relation can be used to match the tuple. In this way, there is no need to enumerate the cross product of R and S. And the join condition is checked using the available index. So we said that the index nested loop join does not enumerate cross product of R and S. So let's see how the cost of checking the condition will be different in this way. Again, repeating the same assumptions, let's consider that we have M pages in relation R, each page containing PR tuples. Also assume we have N pages in relation S, each page with PS tuples. Cost of scanning R is still the same, N, because we need to load M pages into the memory. Cost of retrieving matching tuples from S depends on the type of index available. If the index is B plus 3 index, the cost to find the appropriate leaf is on average 2 to 4 IO operations. And if the index is a hash index, the cost to find the appropriate bucket is on average 1 to 2 IO operations. Then the cost of retrieving matching tuples depends on whether the index is clustered or unclustered. If it is clustered, the cost of all matching tuples from S to a single tuple from R will be only one IO. If it is unclustered, one IO per matching tuple will be required. And one more time, let's see this on a students and enrolled with the same number of pages and same number of tuples for the relations. Say, we choose R to be our student's table with 1,000 pages and 100 tuples per page, and S to be our enrolled table with 500 pages. In addition, assume we have a hash-based index on STID for S, and we know that the average cost of matching tuples using this hash index is 1.2. We also have to consider the cost of one page load for getting a page containing the qualifying tuple after getting the data entry from the index. This will bring us to the final cost, which is the sum of the cost of reading table R, which is 1000, plus the cost of matching a tuple with each tuple from R. The number of tuples in R is M times PR, which is 1,000 times 100. For each of those 100,000 total tuples, we have to go through the matching, which has the cost of 2.2. As we said, 1.2 for average index matching and 1 for loading the page. Therefore, the total cost is 1,000 plus 2.2 times 100,000, which is 221,000 IO operations.